Hello and welcome to Transcender.com. This is a tutorial for the Transcender tool, which was created for distributing Tron, TRC10, and TRC20 tokens into multiple wallet addresses from a CSV or a TXT file. The first step you need to do is to open up your Tron link wallet and log in. Then you're going to be choosing which net you're going to be using to interact with the actual Transcend application. You can do a test run on Shasta or you can alternatively do everything on the mainnet, which is going to be obviously the lead cause here, which is the Tron mainnet. This test is exactly the one to one similar on the Shasta testnet as it on the mainnet. So now we're going to be connecting our wallet and we are locked in in the top corner. We are seeing our address and the test net, which we're going to be connected into. If you are going to be on the main net, it's going to be saying Tron mainnet instead. So the very first step is going to be choosing the actual token that is going to be sended. Um, depending on your wallet and which tokens you might be holding, there is going to be a different list. If you only have Tron on your wallet, the drop bar will only show you Tron. Now, if we're going to be going back into and changing the mainnet from Shasta testnet, this would obviously show us a lot different options here. As you can see, there are a lot more TRC10 and TRC20 tokens listed here on the drop bar menu. But since we are doing the test on the Shasta testnet, we are only seeing Tron as of right now, since my testnet account only has Tron as of right now. So we're going to be choosing Tron. And then we are able to see the token here and how much decimals they have. Next up, we need to add the CSV file, which includes the addresses and the amount that the users will be getting. Now, there is a sample file that you can download for CSV and TXT. I'm going to be uploading the CSV file from my computer. And here we have the lines drawn here. Every time there is a problem within the lines or the code, the actual DAP will tell you that there's a bug on the actual file that you have inserted in. You can actually edit it here as well. So what I can do, for instance, I can copy my own address here and paste it here on the third line. And obviously it's to paste a lot of uh, unnecessary stuff here, but we're going to be removing those extra lines and we're going to be pasting my address here on the third line. And now we're going to be removing the fourth and fifth and sixth lines. Now it obviously still is giving us the error because we haven't chosen how much Tron we're going to be distributing into this address. So we're going to be hitting a hyphen and then we're going to be adding that number. And you can choose to have different amounts for every single account. So in case you're doing an airdrop or a payment for people, you can choose which ones are going to be getting which amount. After you have inserted all necessary information and there's no errors, click and proceed to click approve and send. This will take you to the actual screen where we're going to be seeing the total number of addresses and how many transactions are required to do this. If you're going to be sending the thousand different addresses, it may require a different amount of transactions. Then it shows you the total tokens that are being sent, my TRX balance and token balance, and also the cost of operation, which is 500 TRX plus the network fees. And then we're going to be hitting next. And this will pop out the actual screen and show us the amount of Tron. And that is obviously including the 500 and the 650, which we're going to be sending to these three addresses. And we're going to be now clicking accept. And it's going to be taking a couple of seconds to basically go through the Tron's blockchain and give us the actual link where we can see the transaction taking place on Shasta or on the mainnet and seeing how many confirmations there have been and also the owner, the contract addresses and the value of the transaction and where uh, the transaction is actually going on here. So you can see there's multiple different ones uh, listed here. And that's how easy it is basically to use the transcender on down below. When you go back into the return to home button, you can see 
that there is also a fee calculator so you can see how much it's going to be costing to send uh, how many addresses. There's also a referral system where you can basically paste in uh, your TRX address and generate a referral link. There's also a FAQ section which has a bunch of different information about everything that you need to understand about the actual contract and everything regarding it. Thanks for watching. See you soon.